Hello friends, grace and peace be with you. I am here with your weekly message of Wednesday Grace and I have a book that I want to share with you today. This book is called The Invisible String. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mom, mom, they cried as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We are scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, asked Liza. Mom held something right out in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. When I was your age, my mom first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know that it's there? asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone that you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string, Liza asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, said mom. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, said mom, even there. Or if I was a mountain climber, even there. Or a ballerina in France, even there. Or a jungle explorer, yes, even there. How about an astronaut in outer space? Yeah, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, said mom, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or who gets to ride in the front seat or what time to go to bed. That's right, you two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their bed. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making some loud noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings that their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by an invisible string. And from deep inside, now they could clearly see that no one is ever alone. I received this book almost three years ago. It was waiting for me in my mailbox when I first moved here uh, to the campus of Louisville Seminary to begin my journey in theological education. It was sent to me by my church staff of the church that I worked at before I moved here. Um, they knew that I was uh, excited to begin my time in seminary and taking that next step in pursuing ordination in the PCUSA, but they also knew that I was feeling a lot of sadness and grief in saying goodbye to my friends and my family in Michigan, but especially to say goodbye to the church that I was working at that was a wonderful community for me to learn and grow in. Um, I have returned to this book a few different times over the last three years when I've been feeling particularly lonely and isolated and missing my friends and my family back in Michigan. And it's also a book that I have returned to over the last few weeks as we have been all practicing social distancing and quarantining and being in social isolation. 
whether you live alone like I do or you live in a house where you could never be alone, we are all experiencing some loneliness and a sense of isolation in one way or another. Over the last few weeks in, uh, at church, we have been exploring the brief statement of faith, one of the confessions of our denomination. And there's a line in the brief statement of faith about the Holy Spirit that we'll talk about a little bit more this Sunday. Um, but this line, I think, is really important uh, for us as we, are, um, as we are still practicing social distancing and, and not being able to physically gather together. And the line says this, we trust in God, the Holy Spirit, everywhere, the giver and renewer of life. The Spirit justifies us by grace through faith, sets us free to accept ourselves and to love God and neighbor, and binds us together with all believers in the one body of Christ the Church. I have really needed that reminder over the last several weeks um, that, that we are bound together by the body of Christ, by being members of the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit acts as an invisible string uh, to connect us to, to people that we love and care about, even though we can't physically be together. I know that I can speak for our entire uh, staff at Second Pres in saying that we are eagerly looking forward to that day when we can worship together in a way that is most familiar to us. Um, but until then, we have this chance to feel a renewed sense of the Spirit's presence with us, that invisible string that is holding us and connecting us together even when we can't be together. So my prayer and my hope for each and every single one of you this day that is that that invisible string that connects us together and connects you to the people that you love would be felt in creative and renewing and refreshing ways in the days and the weeks ahead. So from my invisible string to yours, the peace of Christ be with you.